Welcome. Cold Steel Pocket Bushman. You practically see the camera in there. Let me bring the light down even closer. Polished blade. A little bit of just plain customization. All that. Just some messing around. Not that that does anything. If you're not familiar with the Pocket Bushman, it's a $25 knife. German 4116 Got to pull this, release it. Really good detent coming on back, I guess you would say. A folding. When it comes to a really big knife, which this isn't big in the family of cold steel, but I've experienced knives especially ones with the pocket clip here and the knife closes that direction so that would be tip up I've experienced big knives that don't snap back nothing holds them nothing holds them I've experienced them because of the thumb stud and let me know in the comments any knife geeks out there let me know if you've experienced it too. I've experienced the knife blade opening in my pocket, slicing right through my pocket. Now, everybody talks about wearing jeans and pants. I don't wear pants. I live in Florida. Even in the winter, I don't wear pants. My pants are usually slicker pants but when it comes to a big knife that is very important when you only have a tip-up carry and I'll tell I'll I can I'll sh I'd show you the cut in my pants but um you get the idea I reached I sat down I reached my hand down and it was in my pocket and that an, an end of a knife, I'm not going to say what knife, but an end of a knife like that was sticking out of my pocket. I could have practically killed myself. So, everybody poo poos the cheap steel. This is surgical steel. Same thing that, you know, forceps and whatever is made out of. It's just surgical stainless. But with all knives, the more highly polished you can get it, the more corrosion resistant it will end up being, even though it's supposedly stainless steel. So what we're going to do here is there is a moral to this story at the very end. So this is a rolled up tube sock, an old one, it's rolled up. This isn't 100% cotton or anything. This is more like poly. Something with the poly in the beginning, probably. That is the cheap steel, folks. This is my second, at least second or third video about the pocket Bushman that, that cost $25. No problem. I see cut tests being done like this all the time. Now you might say to yourself, well, how many times will it cut like that? I don't really care. I don't really care. It cuts like this when I need it to. Because I am not letting it go 
dull. That's the cheap steel, folks. Cheap steel. Really? There's a big issue in my brain between this Cold Steel 8010 S35VN and the simplicity of this. What? A total conundrum that that is right there what a total mind warp that is which one's taller one's a little thicker and what was it sharpened on what did all that Nothing more than a Spyderco Sharp Maker. The plain old Sharp Maker and a Strop. And this is Dr. Gary's Diamond Paste dried on there. That's all that got this back to being the way it is right now. Cleaned it up, cleaned up the strop, and tried to reapply. So, but edge retention is everything, right? Yeah, well, the average dude out there is not a super knife geek, but if he wants do it right and cheap and when he loses this one in the ocean or on the beach with his wife in the summertime on vacation it's not a big deal that right there doing those cuts across the back really helped out so thanks for watching get yourself a sharp maker and don't hesitate on a $25 pocket Bushman from Cold Steel.